Hello YouTube and welcome to Turmoil in the Toy Box. I'm your host Aaron Hauser and today we're going to be reviewing the Gremlins Mogwai Series 3 set of figures from NECA. This includes the chubby Mogwai known as Hoskins, a very sad looking version of Gizmo, and the much anticipated Mogwai version of Stripe. One of the key differences that I'd like to point out about these figures is that these are based off of the Generation 1 Mogwai body sculpt. That means that these are based off of the look of the Mogwai from the first Gremlins film. The first and second movie had a bunch of key differences in the way that the Mogwais looked. Uh, the same can be said for the actual Gremlins themselves. But um, uh, you can notice a lot of differences between the ears, the face, and uh, more or less the actual body. Uh, so. The previously released uh, Mogwai series, those were mostly uh, from Gremlins 2, excluding the Santa Gizmo that was released back in December of uh, 2012. So, um, these guys the, have a very different look to them, but are very true to the way that they were uh, shown in the first Gremlins film. Now, all of these figures have the exact same articulation as with the previously released NECA Mogwai figures. We'll start off with uh, Gizmo here. Uh, there's articulation in the wrists, in the elbows, in the shoulders, in the legs, in the ears, the neck, and then the posable eyes, which you can uh, adjust via a little ball joint in the back of the head there. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, there we go. So, paint application on Gizmo looks really, really nice. There's no bleeding, there's no... Uh, mismatched color portions, um, as I've seen on some of the other uh, Mogwai. The toes actually look really nice on this one. They don't. There's no bleeding up into the uh, the leg portions there. The ears are really well done, and the face just looks fantastic. It looks a lot like the the Gizmo that we all know and love from the first film. Uh, very scared look on his face for this one, um, but. Overall, this is just a really well done figure, and I was just really impressed with the uh, quality of this set. This whole set just looks phenomenal. So, um, I know with some of the previously released Mogwai, there's been a big issue with quality control, especially with the uh, Gremlins figures. But uh, I'm pleased to say, at least with this set, um, no such issues as far as uh, paint and uh, quality go. So, uh, the joints were kind of tight on this guy when I first. Uh, opened them out of the package, but um, if you kind of just warm up the figure with a, a blow dryer or if you put it in some warm water, it'll kind of loosen up the joints for you so you don't have to worry about accidentally snapping them. So, give you kind of a 360 here of the figure. Uh, the only real thing that I could see about this guy was that some of the paint on the eyes is a little, it's not scuffed, but it just looks a little lighter than some of the other figures, like it just was kind of, it's worn off somehow. But from a distance you can't really notice it, and with the eyes positioned it looks fine, so no real problems there. Next up we've got Stripe, has the exact same articulation. The face and the paint application on this one as well look great. There's no, uh, no real smudges or blemishes or anything like that. Uh, the same kind of issue, though, on the eye, which I wasn't a huge fan of that. This one actually looks like it has something stuck to it. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm sure with a little rubbing alcohol, I could probably clean that off. So, But other than that, the face looks great. You can see the teeth in there. Uh, the little hair that's included. Um, it's a little long, but if you kind of streamline it back, it actually doesn't look as bad. So... As you can see, they did a great job with the uh, the way the face and the way the stripe looks and everything. Um, but yeah, they did a great job with this figure. I really liked how they uh, did the ears on these. Um, I'm not sure if they meant to, maybe it's just me, but it looks like the ears on this one are slightly different from Gizmos, which I, well, I actually like that. Um, like, the veins are a bit more pronounced in uh, the ears on this one, so... Doesn't look bad. I thought that was a major plus. Not sure if that was intended, but uh, 
yeah, it, it, it works out nicely. So, um, with this figure out of the package, uh, his leg joints were incredibly tight, like I could not move the leg, so you may or may not have to, uh, to heat up the joints just to get some uh, flexibility in there. Um, I know a lot of times with these figures the paint will dry over the joints, so it's a little hard to articulate, but um, it's an easy fix to, to get that working again. And then last but not least, we've got Hoskins, a.k.a. the Chubby Mogwai. And uh, this is just a really cute additional Mogwai for the uh, the Gremlins line. I was really happy that they actually released this guy. Um, great facial sculpt there. Really liked how they did that. Um, there's no bleeding or anything on the face. Looks really nice. Um, the eyes, you can't really see them because he's kind of squinting. But um, the eyes on this one look a lot better. There's no blemishes on the around the retina or anything like that. And then the ears are pretty much the exact same as uh, the other two, or more like uh, gizmos. Um, and then the same articulation as well. So really great figure set. I was really excited to get these guys and the fact that uh, they all turned out very nicely as far as uh, quality and paint application. I was really excited about that. Another thing I wanted to show in this review was a comparison between NECA's uh, original Generation 1 gizmo release and this gizmo from Series 3. There is a night and day difference between how uh, both of these guys look as far as uh, detailing and articulation especially. Um, but I just wanted to show you how big of a jump there is between this original figure um, that was released uh, several, several years back and uh, this guy from Series 3. So the original figure that NECA released, it's shaped a lot like a bobblehead. Um, just a really long neck that was kind of awkward. The ears are just this thick, glossy looking plastic. Um, the articulation is very limited. You can move the arms back and forth, and then the legs rotated all together. Um, no eye articulation, but he has this sort of like pink around his eyes. I'm not really sure why that was. Um, and then just altogether, the detail on the, on the fur and everything doesn't look bad, but it's just very, very evident that this one was, it, I don't know if it just was rushed or what, but um, it just looks completely different to this guy who, the, they did everything from the veins and the ears. Um, I really love the eye articulation. It's kind of grown on me. Wasn't a huge fan of it at first, um, but like the mouth, the the pain application for the ears and everything, and then the articulation, the body structure in general is just very well done with this new figure. So overall, this is a, a vast improvement over the first uh, NECA gizmo from the first film. So yeah, major improvements for this line. I was really impressed with the amount of quality as far as the paint application and the joints and uh, the design goes. Um, major improvements over the Santa Gizmo that was released in December. Uh, that one had a lot of paint flaws and a lot of just uh, mismatched ears. It just was not the best the best figure NECA has released. It, it felt very slapshot, but um, these guys are the complete opposite of that. Uh, you can tell that there was a lot of love and care uh, and, and a lot of attention to detail that was put into the design of each of these. Um, everything from the coloring uh, to the facial sculpts, everything. Just wonderfully done. And uh, I'm really excited to see if NECA does any more uh, Mogwai figures after this. I know that there, there's there been talk of them wrapping up this line, um, possibly doing another Gremlins series after this. Um, but uh, I, I would definitely show NECA some support for these uh, Gremlins figures if you're interested in them on their Facebook or on Twitter. Just let them know that uh, the, the Gremlins line is getting a lot of love. So um, Each of these figures goes for, they'll probably go for around $11.99 at Toys R Us. Um, I purchased these off eBay for about... I think it was uh, 17 bucks each, was a, a little much, but I wanted to get them sooner rather than later so that I could do a review for you guys. So um, it was worth it, I think, a couple extra bucks. But uh, altogether, definitely worth the money. You'll probably be able to find these guys on Amazon.com in a bit. Um, 
there's a, a few companies out of California I know that already have them in stock. So I just keep a lookout uh, if you're interested in purchasing this set. So yeah, altogether, two thumbs up. Love these guys. Um, great addition to the Gremlins line and to the uh, to just anybody's Gremlins collection if you collect these these little guys. So um, it was really nice to finally see some Mogwai that were molded after the uh, the the Mogwai from the first film. So if you've been uh, waiting for these guys, now's the time to get them. They look fantastic. So um, that's about it for this review. If you have any questions about the figures, just leave them in the comments below and check out some of my other reviews, including uh, reviews for the past Mogwai releases and Gremlins figures from NECA. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. Thank you.